Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a few different preparations of just two main ingredients that hopefully help display a little creativity with simplicity because of a good understanding of the basics. I wanna thank Art Institute in particular for sponsoring this video and for bringing me back to basics. Okay, so the first ingredient I'm going to work with is a red onion. Uh, I'm just going to cut it down the middle and use one half for a small dice and the other for a very thin slice. Uh, but first, I'm going to dice it. For the small dice, or for any size dice at that, you just have to make horizontal slices that go as close to the core of the onion as you are comfortable with. This will take a little practice to not cut all the way through, uh, but once that's done, you can start slicing it vertically in a cross section and then across uh, to make very small, tiny cubes of red onion. For the other half of the onion, I'm going to slice it, and if you didn't notice, on this one I cut the core out because I basically wanted to fall apart as I slice it and the core would keep the slices all intact. Uh, one of the things I like to do when slicing an onion is to cut in the shape of the onion um, if you feel okay doing that. Um, it will prevent any thick onion stub ends from getting in there. Uh, but once the red onion is prepped, I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and use lemon juice and salt to give uh, the sliced onions a light zesty twist and then use red wine vinegar salt and fresh cracked black peppercorns for the small dices uh, just to showcase a little diversity but with a similar uh, tone between the two one with lemon the other with vinegar highlighting uh, kind of the two different cutting techniques and this is really a big reason why i love cooking and being creative with it is because of how diverse the basics themselves can be and this is a passion that both the art institute and myself share because i just love an educational program um, that is dedicated to preparing you for something creative in your life and uh, art institute is definitely one of those schools so go check out my description box for more info on the art institute and their wide variety of classes such as culinary and media arts across the U.S. Next up is a simple preparation of a roasted onion that could be paired with a steak, barbecue, or even on the side with some pita and hummus. Uh, but with this, I'm going to use a white onion because they're quite a bit sweeter than red, and all I want to do is quarter it, drizzle a good amount of olive oil over the onion, salt, black pepper, and then broil it for about 25 minutes on the middle rack or until it's tender and lightly charred on top. Now it's time for the carrots. So the first thing I wanted to do with them was a puree and I had a few older carrots that were a perfect fit. So of course you want to peel them, take a little bit of the tops and the bottoms off, then slice them about a quarter of an inch thick and you are going to toss them into boiling water until they are fork tender. Next, you're gonna strain the carrots into a blender and add a few ladles of the boiling water um, to that very same blender along with olive oil, honey, and a pinch of salt. Then you're gonna blend this for about two to three minutes, uh, slowly working your way to the highest setting on the blender. Once the puree has lightened up a bit and is super smooth, it can be used as a base for soups, a well-rounded sauce for meat, fish, or poultry, or even cooled down and mixed into a salad dressing. Uh, but for a warm application, you want to transfer it to a small saucepan and cover it with a lid so it doesn't develop a skin on top.
The next thing I did with carrots was fun because I used a variety of colors to help with a more rustic preparation of what's just plain old butter glazed carrots. So here I'm not going to even peel these carrots because I feel like it comes off a bit more organic with the final presentation. Uh, but the idea is to cut the carrots into relatively uniform chunky pieces, then boil them until tender. Towards the end of the cooking process, use some of the remaining boiling water and add a few pads of butter to it and quickly start to stir the pan around until the carrots develop a really good sheen on them. Uh, increase the heat for about 30 seconds and turn off the heat and continue to stir until the carrots are completely glazed and you can also add in some chopped herbs at this time too. Now to plate the glazed carrots, I'm actually going to put a few spoons of carrot puree on the bottom of the plate to really highlight the glazed carrots with another subtle hint of carrot deliciousness under it. Um, it's kind of amazing what you can create when you understand how to manipulate the most simplest of ingredients. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, what's up? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this back to basics video. I always love diving into fundamentals or the baseline of uh, you know, my culinary knowledge just to see what I could come up with and to kind of test uh, whether I know what I'm doing or not. So uh, I always have a fun time you know, sharpening my knife and doing some nice small, um, small diced onions and sliced onions and um, little fine cuts and just getting kind of the angles right on it. So always fun to go back. Plus you could also expand off of a few ideas like with this is the glazed carrots and the carrot puree. You know, you have um, a very simple rustic procedure of just basically rough cutting carrots. Um, and then you have a nice finesse with the glazing and then a little more finesse with puree, uh, the pureed carrots on the bottom. So it's a kind of like looking at one ingredient, you can get so many different creative ideas from that. If you know how to apply those things, um, you could have a really high success rate for your creativity. I think a lot of people just want to be creative and that's great. I fail all the time in a lot of other things that I do, but when it comes to cooking, I have a little bit higher success rate because I understand uh, you know, temperature and knife skills and what it means to kind of have a base knowledge of those things. And building off of that just allows me to be creative and share my passion with you guys, which I'm very thankful for. I know there's a missing uh, tray right here because I use the sliced pickled onions actually for a sandwich. <laughs> so those aren't here. I would actually use these, uh, the small diced onions, kind of like this mignonette with the black pepper and the vinegar and all that as like oyster, uh, like a garnish for oysters or even for a sandwich or something like that, or even in a salad. It's like perfect for a dressing. Um, so it's kind of good to think of food this way. And I want to thank Art Institute for sponsoring this video. Uh, it's always a blast to kind of come back to the basics and uh, you know see what you can do with that you know be creative hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe comment down below for future video requests give this video a big old like and i will see you guys next time with another recipe later guys